Hey everyone, this is Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to part 4 of Story App Application Development with Kotlin. So in the last video, we created this item adapter class and here we will receive the data from our main activity or wherever this item adapter is called. And those data are the list of or a list of story titles or a list of contents and the images, right? So we have uh, uh, inflated the custom item view that we have created in, inside this on create view holder right and inside on bind view holder we have bind the data that we have received from the item adapter to our custom view that we have here and finally in the get item view we will return the size of the story title okay now uh, we are done with this item adapter so i'll close this and now inside this main activity, we will go ahead and implement the recycler view. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to create the variable for our adapter. So adapter will create the item adapter. And now this item adapter receives the array of string for the title content and the story images. Okay. So here I'm going to create that for our item adapter. So story titles and we will reference to our XML resources that we have that is story title here okay so to do that I need to call the resources and we'll get the string array and here r dot id dot r dot string sorry r dot array dot story titles okay now this story title contains all the item of this story title XML resource file similarly I will do the same thing for images and the content. So story contents and this content story contents and for finally for the story images images. Okay. Now we can pass this variables as a parameters to this item adapter. Okay, now uh, we have this recycler view present here and having ID as story list. So I'm gonna reference to that story list. So story list dot I will add the adapter to our adapter. Okay, but before calling this adapter, we need to add the um, layout layout manager for our recycler view. So let's go ahead and do that. So story list dot layout manager and we'll call the linear layout manager here. And we need to pass the context to this. Okay. So now it's time to go ahead and run this application to make sure that everything is implemented correctly. So run this in our emulator. Let me close this. Let me close this as well and I'll read on this. Okay. So we have this thing you can see, but our image is not loading. That is because we have not given the internet permission. So I'm going to come back to my Android manifest file. I'm going to give the internet permission. Now rerun the application. And now we should be able to see the images and everything else okay so this title size is a little bit bigger than i expected so i'm gonna change that from the item view here so it is having 24 i'm gonna make it to 20 run the application and you can see we have this uh, title and everything Okay, so now if I click on any of this item, nothing happens because we have not implemented that. So let's go ahead and implement the on click on this image or this item here in the recycler view. So to do that, I'm going to go to the item adapter and here I'm going to create one more view 
variable and I'm gonna pass the item view okay now we'll be able to reference to this view from our on bind view holder here so holder dot view and now we can set the on click listener on this we can do we can perform the operation whenever the item in the recycler view is clicked so right now I want to display the toast message whenever the item is clicked so make test make toast and holder dot view dot parent I want to I want to pass the context here and the text item clicked I want to display the item number which uh, whichever is clicked so uh, I can do that by passing the position here and now I need to set the length of the toast so it is gonna be short and so so let's go ahead and run this to make sure that it is working okay so item number zero is clicked one is clicked I don't know two is clicked now so let me click on this and two is clicked if I click on this item number three is clicked okay now what I want to do is whenever the user click on this item here we will send the user to the details activity so that he'll be able to read the content of this story and we'll use scroll view to do that so let's go ahead and create new activity for our details of the story so new activity go to empty activity and i'm going to give the name for this activity as details and finish okay now i'll just close this for now okay we don't need all of this anyway now we'll go ahead and design the layout so if you remember the final design we have the image view here at the top so i want to add that first uh you know what what i want to do is i want to add a scroll view first and inside that I, I will add this uh image view and the content of our image okay so let me delete it i'm gonna go to the containers and search for the scroll view okay now this scroll view is going to contain the uh, text and the image view okay so it is currently having the linear layout so we'll uh, let it be as the linear layout there is no problem we can use constant view as well anyway let me drag and drop the image view and uh, I will select the image okay now this image view is going to have the match parent and the uh, 200 dp 250 dp of height okay and i will select the scale type to fit xy so that it will occupy all the uh, space here and I'm going to go to the split mode here and I want to set the orientation to vertical okay so that we'll be able to use the uh, text view here now uh, let me go to the design part and add the text view so drag and drop text view just after this image view okay so this text view is going to display all the content of our story so let me give the id as the story details okay so this is our story image story let me give story feature image and i will give the 18 sp of font size and i will just change font uh, to cursive and make it little bold and black okay and I think it is a little bit too much small so I want to give it to 24 and we'll come back and customize that according to our need later obviously now the challenge is to send the content of our story image whenever the user click on this item here so what I want to do is I want to send this title 
image URL and the content of this story to our details activity by using the intent filter. Okay, so we'll uh, start the new intent. We'll put this to our intent and we'll receive that data in our details activity and we'll display that in our uh, scroll view. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So in the item adapter, whenever the user click on the item, I want to start the new activity. So to, st uh, to start the new activity, we need intent obviously. So I want to create the new intent. So val intent will create the new intent and it will take the parameter. So we need to pass the context, e dot context and the details activity dot class dot java okay now i can pass the extra put extra so story title will pass the position and similarly intent dot put extra will pass the story content And last one is image URL. Okay. Now, finally, we'll start the activity. We need to get the context and start activity, right? I will pass the intent. Okay. Now, this data that we have passed from this item adapter, we can receive that in the details activity. So go back here. So well, story title equals to we'll reference the intent and we'll get a string extra and here we'll pass the key from the item adapter so that is story title similarly val this as content intent dot get string extra and we'll pass the ID from here. Finally, for the image, now we'll reference to this uh, image and the text view here. So what I want to do is I want to display the title to our toolbar. So to do that, I can use set support action. Uh, I can get the support action bar dot I can set the title so title and now I'll pass the s title here okay and this should be nullable and in the Kotlin we'll make the nullable by using the what sign there okay question mark sign there now I need to set the images and the content so to set the images, we'll use the Picasso. So Picasso.get.load and we'll get the image and we'll load into the target. That is, um, let me see what is what was the ID that I have given. Story feature image. Okay. And finally, we will set the um, content so we have the id here for this text view that is story details so story details dot text and we'll just set the as content okay so let's go ahead and run this application okay guys so now if i click on this story you can see we are at this uh, view here and we have this uh, id and everything we have this story content and everything, but you can see we don't have the back button. So I'll implement that. You can see we have the story. Nice, right? You can scroll around and customize it. So uh, I want to customize this uh, text here and the I also want to add the back button. So let's go ahead and go to the details activity here and we can enable the back button by using support action bar dot set display home up as enable and we'll pass true 
and this should be nullable as well now if I run this now we have this back button but it is not working so to make that work let's come back here we need to override the on option item selected and here I can check if the back button is clicked so item dot item ID equals to android.r.id.home and if that home is clicked I will just call the on back pressed okay so now if I go to the application and open any of this we should be able to go back like that okay this is how we display the details of our story now in the next video we will come back and uh, implement other extra stuff uh, so i will see you in the next video